let's just pause for a second here, Mark. Hi, well, here we are in the, the control room at uh, Sam Hukan, which um, you have to realize I'm, I'm biased, but um, I think it's probably the best recording studio in the world. It's very definitely the best residential recording studio in the world. Um, I guess one of the, the main reasons for that, in my opinion, is that um, the problem with most residential studios is that you you sort of go to them because they sort of you know you you get you get everything in, but very rarely is the studio up to the standard of a studio that you would find in the centre of a major city, whereas uh, some weekend, boy, you know, if I had the studio in London, you know, I'm I'm sure it would. Do people would use it. And, th and that's uh, kind of an unusual thing with re residential studios. It features, um, I get technical here for a second or two, a 96 channel um, J series. But I mean, you know, it's, it's really the layout in a control room, the way a control, the size of a control room, how it feels to work in. And this is an, quite an exceptional control room because it's uh, really large and yet it feels quite small it means that you can people can sleep in the corners you know while you're working without um, disturbing you and they can be here they can even talk and it won't bother you because you're sort of working in the center of the control room so it makes a makes it a very easy control room to work in over a long period of time the monitors uh, the big monitors the way they're mounted in the room if you sit at the back it's kind of like having a sort of giant set of NS10s, you know, kind of like you dream of, you know, NS10s are only ever that size, but the bigs here, if you sit at the back, it is like listening to a big set of NS10s. Um, the live area, this, the, this whole building, let me just give you a little bit of history. The house that comes, uh, uh, that Hukend is situated at Hukend Studios was originally built in 1580 for the, for the Bishop of Reading. It's a funny old house. It's a, it's a really, uh, really sort of English manor house in as much as it was started in 1580 and people have built bits of it on ever since. So part of it's Elizabethan and part of it's Georgian and part of it's uh, Victorian. And of course, part of it, because Dave Gilmore lived here in the 70s, Dave Gilmore from Pink Floyd, part of it's kind of rock star 70s. And in the 60s, a guy called Alvin Lee, who used to play guitar with 10 years after, had this place. And he was the first person to start using this barn area that is now the studio. It, it, back then, it was a dairy. And he started to use it to record and to rehearse uh, 10 years after. And then, for some reason, he decided he, he, he became very passionate about squash. And he decided he wanted to make it into a squash chord. And he had the beams taken out, and then the whole place fell down. So <laughs> it had to be completely rebuilt. And Dave Gilmore had a studio here in the late 70s. And then the, the studio that's here now is a purpose-built building that used all of the old timber and, 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 and such from the old dairy. And this, this was built about 15 years ago. So the, the house itself, it has about, um, I think it's 14 bedrooms. So there's plenty of accommodation on lots of different levels. And quite a few of the bathrooms even though they work, really do look as though they, they should be in a museum. And in fact, the main bathroom is a Royal Dalton bathroom that dates back to 1900. And, and the Royal Dalton people have actually asked if, if we would sell it back to them so that they could put it in their museum. So it's a very interesting house. The great thing about coming here to make a record is that, is that in the studio building, you have enough space to set up a live band with... with a, you know, because you have a 96 channel board, you can you can set anything up and um, you can set up a live band. There's enough space in the control room so that you can set up all the keyboards, all the Pro Tools systems you want. There's a, a gym at the back, you know, and, and sorry, and a room at the side, a table tennis room at the side that you can make into sort of Studio B, Studio C. There's a vocal booth. You really can, you really can get a lot of work done. And because you're in an environment where you're having all your meals cooked for you and all your laundry done and we have a great cook sandy you don't really have to think about anything other than making the record and because you're sort of out in the countryside but you're still only an hour away from london you can be in london 
in actually less than an hour into the center of London just by catching the train from Reading. So it's a it's a very relaxed but you know an environment that you can really get a lot done. Well, I find I can get a lot done.